This is the Predator Portable Power Station, and it is the 2000 series. In terms of capability, this one has about 1500 watt hours, and I'm testing what can it actually run. So that's why all these light bulbs are here. It's kind of simulating a six LED light bulb circuit. I'm doing some refrigerator testing, and I'll point you in the direction of the complete testing we'll be doing here. But just overall, my initial impressions are, yeah, it's somewhat capable in terms of competitors from EcoFlow or Blue Eddy or Anker or many other brands, but the pricing, I paid almost $1,000 for this unit. And that might surprise you because it's actually not that capable for that much money. If we look at the Predator series of inverter generators, for that type of money, you can get a 5,000 watt Predator inverter generator that is more than capable for home backup, food truck usage, and all sorts of job site usage. And it gets pretty darn good ratings. And in that case, I understand that value story because if you compare the pricing to an equivalent Honda inverter generator, you're saving a ton of money. So the Predator brand makes sense. And I've actually seen them replace Honda generators on most of the food trucks I see out around the community. So we won't go into all the technical details on the portable power station. We'll save that for another video, but just the comparison and why I'm confused, I'm saying this is a no-go. The Predator 2000 portable power station for me, even though I would purchased one to test it, I do not recommend purchasing it. Because if I compare it to an EcoFlow, this is kind of the Honda of portable power station, it's a less capable unit. It's a Delta II, but super popular. And these go on sale all the time. It's on sale right now, so I can get this exact unit. This is about $400, a little over $400 for this unit compared to Harbor Freight's unit, $950. So that just makes no sense to me, right? The whole value proposition of Harbor Freight is completely upside down in this case. So I'm not sure where they're trying to go with the portable power stations, but for now, I'm not a fan of it.